If you're experiencing a lack of motivation to go to the gym, even though you know that you want to transform your body, you want to work out, you want to feel healthy, even though you know that, if you are experiencing some resistance in your body, in resistant to go to the gym, then I want to tell you to not just listen to and rely on some external hype, motivation hype to get you going back going to the gym. This is because yes, they will get you motivated. They will get you, they may get you going right now or in a, a few days for in a for a few days in a row. However, it may not be sustainable for the long run. And usually for feminine goddesses who love to enjoy things, it can feel like such a chore that we don't feel like continuing this. And that is why I am sharing with you this totally new paradigm shift that you probably may have never heard about working out, this powerful shift to get you start going to the gym and help you move in such an effortless and a pleasurable way and help you get excited to start working out and going to the gym again. And yes, this will awaken that internal motivation within you. So you are totally independent of that external motivation hype. Hello, my beautiful goddesses. Welcome to the channel of creating everything that you desire through our bodies and then transmuting that into our lives. My name is Scarlett and I'm a fitness coach for entrepreneurial, soul-driven women to transform your body and therefore your businesses and all aspects of your life as a result. And in this video, I wanna share with you this practice of how to motivate yourself to get back to working out to the gym again. And this is totally something that I has been super powerful and really help you feel even more excited about the gym than ever. And here, these tips are not just some hype, some motivational rah-rah, but it is really a practice that you can do right now. If you ever feel like wanting to go to the gym right now, but somehow your body cannot move, yes, this is the perfect video for you. So let's dive right into this, my soul sisters. And yeah, let's get this going. So the first thing that we are going to be doing when we feel this resistance to go to the gym, when we don't feel that motivation is to actually sit with our bodies. I know this may be counterintuitive to what anyone else may have said out there or what I may have said in the past, which is just to listening to some motivation and then just knowing that, you know, you got to grind hard now in order to get that in the future. Yes, this may help you, but really when we are trying to get somewhere and pushing ourselves, ignoring the resistance within, it we are ignoring what is coming up right now. We are ignoring that resistance and we may be missing out those opportunities to really look deep within and because after we have really looked into it, then it may help you really awaken this powerful goddess in you who just naturally loves working out. So what we're going to be doing here today is this practice of first sitting with our bodies, closing our eyes, taking a deep breath and feeling where in our bodies is it that we are feeling that resistance to working out. Is it coming from your heart or your stomach or your feet or, you know, or even your, your butt, <laughs> you know, where in your body is it coming on or is it in your head that you don't want to work out? And I want you to see, just look within and see how does it 
that little voice inside you that you don't want to work out? How does it sound? What is the voice telling you? And usually most of the time, the voice inside of us is wanting to protect us and sharing with us a story that we usually get attached to. So some examples of some stories that you may hear here are like, I don't want to work out because I know it is going to take a long time to see that transformation. You may feel that somewhere in your body. And I want you to pay attention and notice that and acknowledge that, yes, I see you, dear voice. I see you that you want to experience the transformation right now. So we are going to be this goddess who is loving even this little voice that is, you know, that we identify. We thought that that voice was us. But now we're going to be looking at this little dear voice who is wanting the best for us. But that little voice is also trying to protect you. Maybe, you know, instead of going to the gym, maybe something that you will experience more fun it could be just lying on a couch and watching Netflix and eating popcorns right now. You're going to feel so cozy. That's what the voice thinks. And yes, we usually think that that voice is actually us. But no, we are this space of loving and hearing that voice. And what we're going to do is hear the story of what the voice is saying. And after we hear it, we are going to be seeing where is it coming from? Where is the voice coming from? So let's say if the voice is that voice of impatience that you want to see the results now. Now we're going to be looking back where we learned that voice, where we picked up that voice in our lives. So maybe going back to your childhood that may involve that and looking back where you have been impatient as a little kid, where have you been impatient? And know that as a little kid, it is okay to be impatient. It is okay to want those things now. You want that chocolate cake and that strawberry and you want your mommy's attention and love and care right now. And it is okay. And now we're going to be seeing that voice as if we are seeing this little child who just wants things right now, things fast and we're going to be loving her. We're going to be hugging, you know, hugging that little child so you can do this action of hugging yourself and feeling that, that it's okay, you know, it's okay if you want that love right now, you know, it's okay if you want to feel that transformation right now, but it's okay. Like, even if you don't get there, you will still be loved and I love you. Saying that to the little voice, and going through this practice deeply within yourself is just so powerful. Or let's say alternatively, from my experience, something, a story that is coming within me is something like, I am not good at sports. I've always been so bad at sports. You know, I'm just so bad at moving. My body is uncoordinated. That was one story that I thought that who I was, was that little what that story was telling. Yes, when you go back to your childhood, you will see where you thought it was true. For me, I thought that I was not athletic at all when I was just so bad at physical education. And so I thought that was me. I thought who I was was someone who is so unathletic, who was just nerdy, who just doesn't want to move my body at all. And knowing, seeing this little child of you that is speaking from there, identifying yourself with that. And now we are going to be even loving that child. So no matter what comes up with that story, and then which essentially is sharing you an identity of us, we'll see that we are not that identity. We are not that identity of being lazy, being resistant to working out. We are not that story. Once we look deeper where that resistance is coming from, then we are actually releasing it, washing it away with love and take care of it and know that nothing can actually identify who you are because you are limitless, you are infinite, and you are powerful.
you're not identified by your past, whatever mistakes that you have done, or whatever thing that you have, trauma that you have been through with working out, wherever it is, it is not you. And so that is the first step to really first releasing that resistance, my love. Next movement that we're going to be doing here is just purely moving your body. And we're going to be making it so fun and knowing that there is no right or wrong way when we do this. It's okay to be playful, just like a little kid roaming around in the playground. It is okay. We're going to move with however way that is showing up and rising in our bodies right now. So first, before we get into this practice, after we visualize and talk to that little voice within us, after that, we're going to be asking that little voice within us again, is it okay to move? Is it okay? you know, to play and have fun. Is it okay to do that, my dear? And asking that, and when she is willing to do, when she wants to do, yes, let's move. Or maybe her voice is like, yes, okay, let's move. Then yes, then you are ready. You don't need to do anything. You can just practice that in your room or wherever you feel comfortable. Maybe you feel comfortable doing when no one is watching. So yes, I like to do those in my room before I, every time, almost every time I go to the gym. So you can start doing this thing before we get to the gym. What we are going to be doing today here is a dancing practice. So we think that dancing is supposed to be choreographed, like coordinated. Really, you don't need permission from anyone. You can dance and move your body in however way that you feel. So on some days, I would start dancing around with this little tropical music like this. But other days, it is more slow, more gentle with however you, that you feel like. Move your body, move your hips, move your legs, move your arms. Just know that you are free to do whatever that you feel like and tune into whatever is coming into your body. And once you do this, you'll feel some energy moving into your body and that, my dear, is you are welcoming more energy, inviting that into your body and now you feel that that cardio gets to be fun and now you'll be ready. After dancing, even with that resistance, even with that voice who said you could not go to the gym, you could not work out, after this, you're going to be feeling some energy moving in your body. And yes, this gets to be so fun. You can literally do anything, dance, move the way you want to do. And then after that, you feel free to shake it all up shake up any resistance any other resistance that is holding it's okay you are finally free to do what is calling your soul now what is calling your soul is right now uh, let's say if you are this entrepreneurial woman and you want to express your heart and express your soul in your business and you want to serve the people if you were to do that yes it is part of your dharma it is your mission Part of your mission is to really open up your body and serve with full body, mind, and soul. And for that, yes, we got to be moving and feeling con that connection back to our body. And now this is really the time for you to really reconnect to your body and connecting that body to your soul, your spirit. And now, after that, what we're going to be doing is some basic stretching. So any part of your body that you want to move today, maybe it is the legs or maybe it is the arm, you can start doing some dynamic stretching. So some examples of stretching into like hip swings. I like to do this before a squat day or you know bent or deadlift any leg day or doing some hip circles too that can be really good 
uh, stretching movement. So we're going to be doing those really fast moving stretches called dynamic stretches before a workout. Ex or other examples include if you want to start, let's say, arm exercises, you can also circle, rotate your arms, your shoulder, or try to do some banded pull apart, you know, for your shoulder with any joint that you want to be moving. You want to more moving them, warming them up and making sure that it, they are moving smoothly and safely in your body. And then after that, know that you don't even need to go to the gym, like right now. You can literally start doing it anywhere. And all we need are, think of some three exercises that you feel excited to do or any exercises you can choose it from what i'm going to be sharing here so usually for let's say for leg days i always like to do some compound movements which target a lot of body parts for example doing some squats a deadlift variation you can do them at home with your bands or any weights that you have and you can also do some hip thrusts so anything that you feel you know you you have access to right now literally you can do them so i would recommend going through each of those exercises for 11 or 10 or 12 however many reps that you want you do them with no rest in between you do all three of them so three of those squats and three of deadlifts and three of hip thrusts you do that with no rest and then you can just rest and feel that energy rising in your body and notice that any thoughts of that of that you have in your body is welcomed all of you is welcomed but we're going to be moving gently slowly and as you are moving instead of feeling like you should work out instead of that i want you to actually just move with that enjoyment, like that enjoyment of when you get to dance so freely, move with that enjoyment and see and really feel where is it in your body that you are feeling. How does that energy moving in your body now look like? What color is it? What does it taste like? Yes, we are doing it. And that's when you really activate your power in your body, my loves. Like no matter what resistance is coming up, what excuses are there? All we need is first showing up with our full heart, with our full soul. And then once we begin doing more and more of this practice, then it just gets easier and easier. And yes, this is how you all we also now reprogram our mind to think that yes, moving your body is natural for you and it is something that you enjoy doing and you experience so much bliss and so much fun doing that. So that is my love, is the practice that I would recommend for you. If ever, anytime you are feeling resistance in the gym or working out. And yes, if you are really feel called to and feeling expanded by the energy, then feel free to also join the tribe on Instagram. And also I have my 90 day magical transformation portal to help you and live in and awaken your energy, your confidence, your transformation in your body for you soulpreneur goddesses to really ignite your divine feminine power through your body and this really changing your life. So if you ever feel called to it, the link is in my description box for you to explore and yeah, see if this is something that you'd be interested in. And yeah, thank you, my love, for being just in this beautiful space and I will see you next time. Bye.